Traders, I'm looking at the uh, S&P 500. This is the uh, E-mini futures chart on a daily time frame. A couple of things about this. One, it's definitely, well, it has been under pressure. A couple of points of interest on the chart. One would be this gap under here. A potential target for this to uh, trade down into and rebalance. But uh, the other uh, point of interest for me on this chart is the lows under these can under these candles here so uh, we could mark that up call it a, um, a liquidity pool so we've got uh, sell side liquidity sitting under here that this has already moved into and you can see that the reaction off this level okay it's, it's hit these sell stops under here and spiked up but what we're getting is a, another pin bar a doji and this one here's got a, a pin bar under it's kind of holding up so okay we're ranging through this level at the moment big level big liquidity okay we can see the impact that ha that has had on price and i guess the question is where to from here the only way that i would get involved with this is if we pick up this uh, path tool here swing high swing low we've got this this range this uh price range and at the moment this is trading way down here at the low you know around the lows of this range even if this continues bearish i would expect this to pull back into equilibrium especially given that it's it's uh, reacting off uh, a big level like this so i'm thinking you know what makes sense to me would be a, uh, we get a pullback if we pick up the fibonacci and pull it from the high to the low of this swing it makes sense that you know the 50 to 61.8 could be a target for this to to retrace into and i mean it it could pick up here and tr and continue bullish or it could trade back up into here and find resistance and roll over and trade bearish but i think the next move uh, would be a move north into this area i mean look is it possible that this holds here and and just rolls over yeah i mean that's definitely a possibility you want to be really careful at the moment we've got the uh the elections tomorrow it's going to cause quite a bit of a uh, bit of volatility i'm inclined to sit 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 out and uh, wait for the elections to play out you know to unfold and uh, and just see how this reacts and i'm thinking the pullback and uh yeah i mean look it could trade in either direction guys let's just go out to the uh the weekly for example and have a look at this from this point of view well i'll just clear everything yeah i mean we've seen some pretty deep pullbacks this one here for example and then a bit of a pullback here and then this one was really significant so you know do we see another move like that that's the question the other thing to consider would be if you grab a fibonacci and look at this weekly time frame swing low swing high I'm always looking for the pullback into the 50%. Swing low, swing high here from this swing point down. I mean, that was a really deep pullback. All right, I'm always looking for the swing point, swing uh, low high, the pullback into 50% of that price swing. Right. So the price swing is, you know, in my opinion, what uh, big money is involved with. So they buy... The price moves and then they unload right so you get this range this price range and consider that big money will always like if this is bullish on the higher time frame and they're invested long they're going to want to pick up at a discount and currently this is trading in through this premium zone above 50 percent of this previous swing right that's the swing that i'm looking at right so it's currently trading at a premium on this time frame the weekly I mean, it makes sense to me that this pulls down into these levels here before we see further upside, right? So, you know, possibly uh, more downside, but before we get that, if we get that, <laughs> I mean, it could hold here and trade north. But uh, oh, and another thing to look at would be, you know, on the weekly time frame, we've got this imbalance through here that could be a target. So let's just go back down and have a look at the daily. Remember, we talked about this price gap on the daily well it coincides with this weekly imbalance so there's your gap on the daily time frame so this area down here is definitely definitely worth marking up on the chart and uh you know be you be and be mindful that this could could hunt uh for these uh for these levels and i mean i think there's still a significant amount of liquidity sitting under these lows here right here to so mark that up liquidity pool right so 
this whole area is a target one for liquidity and two to rebalance right so with that in mind then going back down to the 4h um, i mean we, we've got a fair bit of momentum and again i'm always looking at these price swings so swing high to the low here and the way that i would get involved would be if we pull the fibonacci it's got to come back into this premium zone now okay if we're selling we want to be selling at a premium. So the equilibrium is 50% of the previous swing. So that would be a potential entry point. Short, if price shapes up favorably, in other words, we trade up, it ranges, and then we see a break of market structure bearish, that would be a, 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 a cue then to enter short there, in there. I, I don't want to be shorting. I don't want to be selling at this level down here. I want to see it trade back into into this uh, this midpoint. So that's that. Then you know if it if it continues down from there, great. Now look, you could have an opportunity to if you want to counter trend trade it. It's always risky, but you know if we go down to say a 15 minute time frame, just watch how this this trends through here, right? So at the moment we've got a uh, double bottom. Well, we've got relative equal lows. This double bottom here. These double uh, these uh, lows over here. I'm always looking for clues where there's, for example, this low, this low, and it pulls through to meet this low. So relative equal lows builds big uh, big liquidity, and we have the sell stops from the previous low. This dip down into liquidity here could be a sign that this is going to trade north. It could be. So what I'm looking for here. Uh, is going to be this to break structure in other words you know it's trending up if this continues now we've got a higher low right all right if this 15 minute continues all right so that could be a thing so i want to see it you know if you're going to buy uh, i wouldn't it's it's going against a downtrend on the highly time frame uh, on the higher time frame but you know this starts to the shift gears here breaking structure well probably be up in here something like that that would just be a chock so shift in the trend here so chock okay so we look for that we look for this pull back up and look this would be a potential entry point long that would be a target and uh, and then i'd be looking for price to react around this level same thing guys like it trades up you know, it ranges for a little while. Then we start to see a bit of volatility break out, uh, you know, fake out, shake out, and then we get that. So, you know, look, that that's a bit of an idea. This could occur anywhere. It could happen here. It could happen up in here. Who knows, right? But that's the kind of price action I'm going to be looking for uh, with uh, the, uh, the S&P. Possible break north, bit of a buy opportunity. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look, the, the elections are... Uh, occurring tomorrow and i would be inclined to stay out of the markets watch this i won't be buying counter trend but i think up in here a possible short could be a thing that's my take on this and i would love to hear your thoughts on on this definitely definitely leave a comment and with that i hope you have a great day safe trading and we'll see you in the next one